A 15-year-old became the latest teenage victim of gun violence in Dallas this week. Isaac Rodriguez's family says he was hanging out at a friend's home yesterday when his friend shot him. According to Dallas police, the friend thought the gun was unloaded when he pulled the trigger. Fox Force Macy Jenkins spoke to Rodriguez's mother and joins us now live from the Dallas Police Department. Macy. Hi, Heather. Well, she told me that her son Isaac was actually living with the friend and his family for the summer. She also says she had no idea that either one of them had access to a gun. I haven't let out any tears because, like, I, I haven't wrapped my mind into it that he's no longer here. A day after 15-year-old Isaac Rodriguez was shot and killed, his mother Marisol Lopez says the 13-year-old boy Dallas police say pulled the trigger was one of his best friends. He actually considered him as a brother. He was like, that's my brother, that's my partner for life. Dallas PD says the shooting happened around 2.30 Wednesday afternoon on Keystridge, South Oak Cliff. Neighbor Jerron Cardoza lives across the street and says his grandchildren often play with the 13-year-old siblings. I had uh, went and go got the little baby and brought him over here because I was trying to keep all the little kids away from all of that. Police say evidence shows the 13-year-old pulled the trigger with the gun pointed at Rodriguez, thinking it was not loaded, but they did not elaborate on any more of the circumstances. He was an accident, but an accident could be in the hand, in the leg. Why in the head? You know, why in the head? Lopez says her son had been staying with the 13-year-old for the summer and working in construction with the boy's father. Police have not said how the teens got access to the gun. I had never seen any red flags, you know, coming towards that family where, where my son was murdered. i never seen anything. The shooting comes just two weeks after 15-year-old and 14-year-old children were killed in separate cases of gun violence in Dallas. Wednesday morning, Mayor Eric Johnson held a summit on safety. I came into office as mayor after a little girl had gotten shot during the summer at home in her living room between two other youth who were shooting at each other over some, some beef that they were having. Three babies basically involved in a tragedy. For Dallas ISD trustee Maxie Johnson, who is part of the city and school district's summer safety program, the story is all too familiar after losing his oldest son to gun violence in 2019. It's a sad situation and we have to do more to create safety for our kids in school as well as out of the school in our community. He says it's imperative to spend quality time with the youth in his community. I'm out here with my kids now, working with them, mentoring them, loving on them, and we give them more to do so they would not get in trouble. Lopez reflecting, warning other parents to pay more attention to where their children hang out. And I feel like this is my fault because I shouldn't have let them. The mom of five now focused on remembering her goofy and fun-loving middle child. I always tell me, Mom, why are you always in a bad mood? Smile, life is beautiful. Like. Now, Dallas police have not said whether or not the 13 year old will face any criminal charges. Lopez says Isaac was just three weeks away from celebrating his 16th birthday.